Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I love fall. <laughs> Hello there, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel and happy fall! Eek! I don't really know when I'm gonna be posting this, but it's gonna be fall. Don't worry. So happy fall and happy Halloween if it's close to Halloween. All of my Halloween decorations and all of my autumn decorations are packed at the moment because I'm moving in under a month so I don't have any cool little trinkets to hang in the background. So instead I'm wearing this like spooky kind of witchy wizardy kind of shirt. It's a crop top. So anyways on to the point of me making this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I did this brown smoky eye inspired by fall and autumn with the orange, the red orange, ready orange lip. A lot of people have been asking me like, Kira, post more, do more makeup tutorials, so here you go. I am delivering. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more videos of moi, and just go ahead and keep watching if you want to know how to do this smoky, autumny masterpiece. <laughs> okay guys, so first obviously we start with a primer and my favorite primer as of late is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. For foundation today, I am mixing the Revlon Age Defying Foundation in shade 10 and the L'Oreal Matte Infallible in shade 101, just kind of mixing it up on the back of my hand and then applying it with a damp beauty blender. By the way guys, just in case you're wondering, I am wearing the Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss on my lips at the moment. And for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral, which I am absolutely obsessed with. It's so good. I had to order it online, but it was totally worth it guys. So I'm here I'm doing some big concealing triangles and then highlighting with the concealer as well. And also doing a little bit of uh, carving and then just blending it in with the same beauty blender. So since I'm using so much concealer under my eyes, I definitely want to bake that because I don't want it to go anywhere. So for baking, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, baking under the eyes and also under the cheekbones. And after you let that bake for a few minutes, you can just brush it off with a powder brush, the excess, and then you can start on setting your foundation. And I'm using the Smashbox Photo Filter Powder in shade two. After that, I like to start to prep my eyes for eyeshadow. So I'm priming with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Now I'm gonna do my brows off camera because we all know what happens when I do my brows on camera. So here they are. Um, I will put a link below to my full eyebrow tutorial in the description so you can watch that. Moving on to eyeshadow, I'm starting with the base Tempera from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. For the crease, I'm using Raw Sienna from that same palette and I'm using the brush it came with, the fluffy side. And then I'm gonna take the other side of the brush and apply Cypress Umber, the dark brown, to just my lid. And this is the color I'm gonna use to smoke out this eyeshadow look. And honestly, for smoky eyes, it's so, so important to blend. So I'm using Cypress Umber again, but with the fluffy side and putting that in my crease so that it kind of blends with the top of my eyeshadow. And next, I'm applying Cypress Umber once again, folks, to this smudgy brush. I think it's a smudgy brush. And then I'm putting it on the lower lash line, but only at the corner, so it kind of darkens the edges and makes it smoky. And I'm picking up Raw Sienna again to put all over my lower lash line, kind of blending it into the darker colors so that it all is smooth, and then bringing it into the inner corner as well. And like I said earlier, blending is like super, super key. So I'm getting this blending brush and using the tempera shade again. And I'm just blending along the edges so that everything is very smooth and it's not choppy. And then to create that kind of ombre effect, I'm using golden ochre and putting it right on my brow bone underneath my eyebrows to just smoothen out that color. And for the last time, I'm using Cypress Umber on my lid to just darken out that smoky eye. You can darken it as much as you want. It is completely up to you. And now that your eyeshadow is all done, I'm curling my lashes with a Revlon eyelash curler. And then I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, which I am so into right now. It's so nice. It doesn't clump. <laughs> like for that crazy mascara face. 
And next onto bronzer, this is a Vichy bronzer. It's really nice and very subtle, but you can build it up as much as you want. And here I'm doing a little bit of nose contouring with the same bronzer. And of course you have to blend, honey. You can't get out of blending, ever. <laughs> And for blush, I'm using the NARS Orgasm Blush. I'm not really using that much, just a little bit on the apples of the cheeks, but I don't want to look too rosy in this makeup look. And for highlight, of course, you have to have that staple Champagne Pop by Becca. And then this is just a Morphe brush that I'm applying it with. I'm doing the cheekbones, the chin, the cupid's bow, the nose, and the forehead. For lips, I know that liquid lipsticks was kind of a fad and it's over, but you know what? I don't care. I still like this. And this is Pumpkin by Kylie Cosmetics. It's really nice, you have to admit. And then finally, for locking all of this makeup in, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So guys, that is it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this brown little smoky eye look with the pumpkin lip. Um, and happy fall. Have an enjoyable fall time. Just soak it up because it doesn't last long. And I will see you next week, hopefully. I've been very busy, like I said, but I'll try to post. I love you guys. <laughs>